well from the toy mat, she will take vintage toys and compare them with their modern reproductions or counterparts. Today, I am behind the camera. Um, I'm awaiting something in the mail to, for my next video. Uh, it hasn't shown up today, so I've decided that I will give you a tour of the Palatial Toy Mat Studios. And we will continue with our regularly scheduled content tomorrow. So first off, we're going to start with the toy table, which is in disarray right now. Uh, so this is where I do my recording and do a lot of photo taking in my video editing. Uh, so there we've got the um, Alita's Angels um, that showed up on Instagram today. But yeah, just got an 8x4 piece of uh, plywood, or particle board actually, and uh, this is where I do all my work. Also makes an excellent game table. Alright, so moving along. So this is uh, some stuff that doesn't actually get into the shots, uh, but this is this is how I have the room decorated. So we got some IKEA shelves, and then I've got my Kenner Star Wars Hoth toys here. Got the micro collection over here behind the Tie Fighter. Nice. And then the turret Probot. Um, I'm missing a piece of the Probot, and I can't uh, display it. But there, in front of Luke's X-wing, um, the Hoth Rebels, and uh, continuing with the Hoth theme. So I shove some stormtroopers in there, hint, hint on what sh um, the next video is going to be about. Um, and then we've got Bespin. Uh, the whole set, the carbon freeze chamber, and the gantry. Pretty cool. Um, along with some gaming type stuff on the lower shelves. Here, this shelf is my pride and joy. This is where the A-Wings rest, for the most part. So I got the box for my original droids A-Wing, uh, a bunch of models, some later released A-Wings, and we got this shelf, which is, we'll get a little bit closer, we've got the carded uh, A-Wing pilot, a lot of little tiny A-Wings, close in there a little bit, uh, some other pilots, and some other miscellaneous A-Wing toys. And the next shelf down, Lego A-Wings. Yep, from the very first one over here to the uh, microfighter for the last Jedi. And then everything in between. A-Wing time. And then over here, next shelf over, we have the um, the Home One Lego Star Wars um, playset that came with this green A-Wing, not this one, this green A-Wing, as well as um, these little, uh, I guess, maintenance vehicles that go with the various Star Wars um, Lego ships. I really like those. I think I want to do a video on those someday. I'm blocking my light out here. All right, so then, here we go. Transformers Generation 1 display. So we got some aerial bots, protective bots, twin twist, Ultra Magnus in the back, Galvatron, uh, the Terracons. I finally got Hunger G1 uh, recently. So we'll be doing some compare videos for those soon. Then up here, some more Star Wars stuff. The box for uh, Lego Star Wars uh, tie, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and the original Y-Wing. Um, vintage collection. Action figures. And then some 12-inch figures. And then moving right along. Got a giant plush Yoda. Uh, storage. Not too exciting. But this, who has this? Yeah, A-Wing Calculator. That's, yeah. Just to let you know, that's what I'm about. Then, I'll back up some and pan up and down. Or I guess tilt. This is my bookshelf of Star Wars novels. And various other Star Wars stuff on this shelf. But, 
yep, when I was younger, I read through pretty much the entire Expanded Universe novels, or the entire series of Expanded Universe novels. Um, but also I got some toys dispersed throughout here. Uh, Lego Star Wars Yoda Jedi Starfighter, um, a few advanced TIE Fighters, uh, some Darth Vader's, some more Darth Vader, uh, Greedo Mask, a Mandalorian helmet, and some uh, Star Wars potato heads. Because I like Star Wars. Who would have thought? Alright, so now we're getting into the actual background of what you normally see when you're watching Toy Mat. So up here I have, well, I guess we'll go up here. Uh, I got a print, but I got these vintage Star Wars models um, from the 80s. And then going down up here, I have Star Wars Lego sets. And then to these IKEA shells. Got a giant stuffed chicken and some wrestlers. Um, vehicles from the Rebels toy line. Resistance A Wings. Because, you know, I like A Wings. And then, holy cow, Decepticons. So, yep, just a cube full of Decepticons. And then going down, Star Wars Microfighters. Um. These are pretty cool because you can get a lot of them and display a lot of things, which is nice. Um, um, some first order vehicles with uh, a uh, microfighter do bag overflowing, a Green Leader A Wing, and then more Kenner Star Wars micro collection the Snow Speeder and the Hoth Ion Cannon. And then some books, We've got a talking Voltron. And some uh, Robotech Masterpiece Collections, um, Rick Hunter and Ben Dixon. And then, here we go, here's the toy mat screen. And some video game consoles. And um, more wall art. A little bit closer. Hey, there's me in the reflection. And moving along. Giant robot storage. It was giant combining robot storage until uh, Fortress Maximus moved in. But, um, so we got Abominus, we've got Ruination, Ad Hoc Fighter, both uh, definitely going to have videos for those guys coming up. Uh, Voltrons, because giant combining robots are my jams. Uh, Forces of Destiny, uh, Hoth, Leia, and R2-D2, plus, um, I think it was Mindstorms. Was the uh, the Lego line for that for that R two D two in the background, and then some brickheads with Siege Hound just snuck in there, and then some more Transformers. Got the lunchbox in the background, but some Autobots, and then uh, Lego Y wing, and moving down, I got my two Slave ones. Uh, the good one and the bad one. My droids A-wing with my loose A-wing pilot and the uh, the coin from um, the Power of the Force line. And then my very small collection of Black Series figures. Not the biggest fan of the Black Series. I don't I don't know. Just not a big fan of paying twenty dollars for an action figure. That's I don't know. More of a display piece. Um, the ones that I do pick up tend to be. I, get them, I pick them up on sale. And that's the secret to toy collecting. Hunt the discount stores. So moving along, here we go. Um, vintage TIE Fighter. And um, the TIE Fighter from the Solo movie. Yes, working on that. And there's uh, Unicron. And uh, this awesome monstrosity. The Epic Sewer Later from Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I've got some fun ideas what I'm going to do with this for future videos. And then Titan's Return Trypticon. I need a better place to put him. I want to put him on the top of this shelf. I uh, just need to do some rearranging. 
to get that straightened out. And of course, like everywhere, needs to be Billy D. Williams approved. And then, so we're back to the toy table. And there is the, um, I guess, blanket that has the, uh, the toy mat on it. Now, we're going to move along into the storage room. Um, so we've got a dehumidifier running. Hopefully that is not too uh, loud on the audio. Uh, here is a pile of Lego sets that need to be assembled sometime. And you may or may not remember my video where I received the, or I picked up these Toys R Us shells. And they are very, very, very full now. So, here I've got some vintage board games, Star Wars Battlestar Galactica, uh, that is a Star Wars uh, slot car racetrack set. You need to get that out and put that together, and that's definitely a video. Um, some package Star Wars stuff, some package Transformers, boxes and boxes of stuff. I need to get this organized. Um, so here, here's Star Wars section. There's my BB-8 playset. There's a pile of blue Resistance A-Wings. Still waiting for the red one to come out. Um, Ninja Turtles. A um, few cards that I have yet to um, open up yet. Including my very fancy uh, misprinted Mozart Fugitoid. Some vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here we go into Transformers Land. So I've got the, the Titans Return, Combiner Wars, Power of the Primes series boxes there. I think they look good like this. You know, looks classy like a bookshelf or something. And then starting to fit in the Siege toy line. And then again, boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff and toys and action figures and play sets. And towards the end, these last two boxes, um, that is where I sorted out that large Transformers collection. I got a few months back, um, and then some more miscellaneous stuff where I store my um, video setup when it's not in use. Box of miscellaneous toys. But yeah, this is the the Toy Mat Collection. Here's that big pile of Lego again. And back to the toy table. So, this, this is my setup. Um, how do you display your toy collections? Um, share it in the comments below. Share it on the social media, the Instagram, Twitter, etc. Um, until next time, take it to the Toy Mat.